Hello and welcome to another episode of Shrey's Vlog. I just felt a bit musical today, that's all. Nothing special. I'm so pissed this week because several million people have been without the PlayStation Network, the online interface that allows you to game online, without which the PS3 is useless, without which the supple breast of technology will not yield online gaming. Without which there is a rise in online surfing of pornography. Without which people die from trying to give CPR to their PS3s and sustaining severe electric shocks. But it's back now, so that's okay. Except the people that died, poor virgins. Today's topic is the news! But it's not like the boring news with like stocks and the economy, whatever. I just looked at how different news channels have different ways of broadcasting and different ways of advertising themselves. So here are my thoughts on the subject. All this analysis, of course, properly researched and cited by yours truly. <laughs> what is this, like, MLA research paper? <laughs> we'll start off with the most infamous Fox News. Fox News, fair and balanced, like a underground poker game with the Chinese Mafia. Sometimes they push and promote racial stereotypes. Later today, we'll be talking about the deal with black people and watermelons. Chinese people and why they're so good at math. White people and money. If Fox News took America by storm... Honey, why are all the colored people leaving America? Fox News! <laughs> oh, well that explains it. It also explains why there's a KKK network on the news. Now we're going to have Billy Ray Bob sing us a tune from his repertoire. Why I love things that are white. I love the stove because it's white. I love white colored cars because they're white. Also, I like Mexican women. Now, Canadian news is a totally different story. When Canada doesn't have anything going on here, they don't necessarily go elsewhere and find news. No, no, no. They take the most useless crap and shove it on television. Here are some examples of headlines that would be on the CBC. Making wine from beaver feces. Is it nutritious? Is it delicious? Is it alcoholic? Coming up next. Next on the National. Why one man decided to collect over 10,000 bottle caps in the early 70s and his incredible and moving story. And also like Peter Manbridge's head is so like smooth and just like light bounces. <laughs> Blinds you. Finally, I'd like to touch on British broadcasting. The BBC is the epitome of what news should be. Not because of the content. That's whatever. It's the way they say everything. It's so enticing. And now on BBC News. The crisis in Haiti and what people are doing to try and get help. Yes. Yes. You just pay more attention. And they say everything in a casual tone. It can be the most serious thing. A bombing has occurred in Iraq leaving hundreds dead. And several hundreds injured. Or a little kitty climbed up into a tree. And has been there since 4.45am this morning. See? It's amazing. Also I've noticed they have a certain tonality to what they're saying. So it kind of goes like this in a sing-song way. Hello and welcome to the BBC. My name is Brian. Welcome to today's headlines. It's like so like sing-song and nice and jolly. But I wonder what he would do in bed. His wife must get so frustrated. Darling, I am taking off my clothes. I will be with you in the bedroom shortly. Please wait in there so I can treat you like a filthy little slut. Darling, I'm waiting. It's taking forever. Can't you hurry up? Sit down, you lecherous wench. I'm coming for you and your sweet sweet behind. Soon enough, you will be under me. God, can you just please get over with? I'm tired of this. In and out, in and out I go. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? You filthy slut. Daddy likes, Daddy likes. Daddy arrived too fast. Daddy will now go to the living room and cry because his masculinity has been compromised. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm Shreya Sukumar, and I support the press. This is only fair, as newspapers are now propping up my table in a level position. Anyway, I am off on road trip this weekend. It's going to be amazing, and I will see you soon. Woo, crew! Peace.